The Navy Working Uniform Type 1, or NWU, has been in service now for more than four years. Over this time, fleet input has resulted in the evolution of policy governing the wear of this uniform to include additional items and lessons learned. This video will cover the major components of the Navy Working Uniform Type 1 and changes in NW policies since December 2008. The NWU is intended for year-round wear and is the standard working uniform. The NWU is a utility-style uniform constructed of 50-50% nylon cotton twill fabric. It is a four-color, deck gray, haze gray, black, and blue color digital pattern design. Embedded throughout the fabric are miniature features of a seal of the Navy flag with letters USN directly beneath it. The seal includes an anchor, a three-masted square rigged ship, and an eagle. The emblem will be abbreviated ACE, which stands for Anchor, USS Constitution, and Eagle. The NWU is designated to accommodate male and female sailors and to fulfill multifunctional geographical uniform requirements at sea and ashore in environments that do not require special or organizational clothing. The basic NWU components include unisex shirt and trousers, eight-point cover, nine-inch black leather safety boots, black boot socks, blue crew net undershirt, undershorts, one and a quarter inch cotton or nylon web belt, black with a silver buckle for E1 through E6, and khaki belt with a gold buckle for officers and chiefs. Embroidered collar insignias for E4 and above with silver name tapes as well as silver U.S. Navy service tapes for E6 and below. Gold name and U.S. Navy service tapes for officers and chiefs. When worn, all buttons on the NWU are expected to be buttoned. Prescribable NWU items include a matching pattern Gore-Tex parka with a black removable fleece liner, a black knit watch cap, and a black mock neck sweater. Optional NWU components include 9-inch rough side out leather safety boot, 8-inch aviation flight deck boot, riggers belt with or without D-ring, earmuffs to be used with outer garments only, matching pattern Gore-Tex trousers, and black leather gloves. There is also a matching NWU pattern maternity uniform which includes a maternity top with adjustable side buttons and trousers with a stretching panel to accommodate all trimesters. The unisex eight-point cover shall be worn squarely on the head so that the visor is on a line and just above the level of the eyes. Rank and rate insignia is required for E4 and above. The Navy watch cap, when authorized by appropriate authority, shall be worn during cold weather conditions that may result in personal injury if not worn. The watch cap is worn diagonally from the base of the back of the head, across the ears, and on the forehead. The watch cap will be worn snugly on the head. Rank and rate insignia and command patches and logos are not authorized to be worn on the watch cap. The watch cap shall be worn with the NW parka or parka fleece. Undershirts shall be navy blue, 100% cotton, quarter length sleeve, with an elliptical or crew neck collar. Organization issued or personally purchased thermal underwear is authorized to be worn underneath the NW undershirt and trousers. Thermal underwear will not be visible when worn underneath the blue undershirt. The mock neck sweater is a black long sleeve pullover mock turtleneck consisting of nylon, polyester, spandex blended fabric. The correct wear will be worn right side out and over the blue undershirt, tucked in and beneath the NWU shirt. Mock neck sweater sleeve length shall not extend beyond the length of the NW shirt sleeve. Proper wear of the NW Type 1 shirt is outside the waistband of the NW trousers. When directed by appropriate authority, the shirt may be worn inside the trouser waistband, tucked in. The shirt length must extend to the bottom of the crotch, but not lower than the middle of the cargo pocket flap. The sleeve length is when the shirt cuff is fastened in which the sleeve could cover the wrist bone but not to extend further than the first knuckle at the base of the thumb. No gapping at the blouse front. Both sides of the shirt opening must overlap. Sleeves may be worn rolled up as directed by appropriate authority. When authorized, NW sleeves will be rolled, cuff right side out, forming a three inch wide band covered by the cuff of the shirt, 
the outside digital camouflage pattern of the NW will show. The termination point of the roll is approximately two inches from the elbow. This manner of sleeve roll presents a short sleeve appearance and facilitates expeditious unrolling and fastening during emergent situations. All closures shall be secured with sewn buttons and holes. To roll the sleeve correctly, begin by laying the shirt flat and smooth out any wrinkles. Ensure the cuff is fully extended and the cuff flap is fastened to its first button. Turn the sleeve inside out. Slide the cuff up to and over the sleeve pocket, covering about half of the pocket. Note that the distance may vary depending on the sleeve length. Continue to smooth the fabric and remove any wrinkles during the entire folding process. Fold the outer edge of the sleeve to the estimated midpoint of the light colored material. Folds must be less than three inches to ensure the final fold will completely cover any of the inside material. Fold the new outer edge of the sleeve to the bottom edge of the cuff. Continue smoothing the fabric. Fold the cuff over the light colored material of the inside of the sleeve. Tweak and peak the fabric and ensure all folds are completely hidden underneath the cuff. Once completed correctly, the rolled sleeve will form a three inch wide band. Repeat the same steps for the other sleeve matching fold measurements to create a uniform length on both sides. Command insignias, command at sea, and command ashore are worn on the NW shirt above the right pocket centered one quarter inch above the name tape. The command insignia can be metal or embroidered on a strip of NW fabric. When authorized, a maximum of two warfare or qualification insignias may be worn on the NW. The primary breast insignia will be worn centered above and flush with the U.S. Navy identification tape on the NW shirt. Secondary breast insignia will be worn centered on the wearer's left pocket flap. Enlisted personnel authorized to wear two warfare or qualification insignias and an identification badge may wear the primary and secondary warfare or qualification insignia centered and flush above the U.S. Navy identification tape. The NWU is the only uniform in which two warfare insignias may be worn by enlisted personnel in this manner. The following identification badges or standalone embroidered patches are authorized to be worn on the NWU. Master Chief Petty Officer of the Navy, Fleet Master Chief, Force Master Chief, Command Master Chief, Command Senior Chief, and Command Chief, as well as Command Career Counselor, Recruit Division Commander, Recruiter, and Navy Security Forces. All enlisted personnel, excluding Security Force personnel, will wear identification badges on the NWU shirt centered on the wearer's left pocket flap. Commencing June 2013, Navy Security Force personnel will wear their respective badges centered quarter inch above the name tape above the right breast pocket of the NWU shirt. Identification badges can be either metal or embroidered on a strip of NWU fabric. Pin-on devices shall not be worn on the NWU when metal devices may present a FOD or safety hazard. Authorized force, command, or unit patches may be worn, centered on the right breast pocket, not to exceed three and a half inches in length, width, and diameter. The proper wear of the NWU trousers is fastened fully on the waist with the belt buckled centered over the trouser fastener. A name tape will be worn above the rear right trouser pocket, centered above and flush above the pocket flap. The trouser legs shall be bloused and cover the top three rows of the boot eyelets using blousing straps. When authorized by proper authority, trousers may be worn unbloused. When worn unbloused, the trouser leg length will not extend below the bottom of the safety boot heel. A one and quarter inch cotton or nylon web belt black with a silver buckle for E6 and below, and khaki belt with a gold buckle for officers and chiefs are standard wear with the NWU. One and three quarter inch riggers belt with or without D-ring are authorized for optional wear. When worn, the riggers belt buckle will be fastened and centered over the NWU trouser button fastener. Excess belt lengths shall be tucked into the belt loops. Socks shall be black and extend above the top of the 9-inch safety boot to ensure comfort. To properly blouse the trousers, begin by ensuring the boot laces are tucked into the boot to avoid falling below the blousing cuff. 
If the trousers are not too long, the bottom of the trouser can be folded over the top of the blousing strap in one fold, then adjusted onto the boot over the third eyelet. If the trousers are longer, an extra fold can be placed onto the bottom of the trousers prior to tucking the trouser material over the blousing strap, then again adjusted to the boot over the third eyelet. Three types of boots are authorized for wear with the NWU. There is a 9 inch smooth black leather boot, a 9 inch rough side out black leather boot, and a black 8 inch flight deck boot. The NWU Type 1 Parka is the primary authorized outerwear worn with the NWU. The NWU Parka features include a fold out hideaway hood, chest rank tab, and pull on pull off rank insignia. The pull-on, pull-off rank insignia is made of matching MWU fabric and required to be worn by E4 and above personnel. When worn, the rank insignia is slipped over the chest pull tab located on the front mid-chest area of the parka. Rating and staff corps insignias are not authorized to be worn on the parka. The proper wear of the parka is zippered at least three-quarters of the way closed. It has a detachable black fleece liner that provides extra comfort and protection during extremely cold condition. The accompanied black fleece liner is the only liner authorized to be worn with the NWU. The black fleece liner is authorized to be worn as a standalone outer garment worn with the NWU Type 1. When wearing as an optional garment, the fleece will be worn over the NWU blouse zippered at least three quarter of the way and must have a sewn on center chest tab. The fleece rank insignia is interchangeable with the NWU parka. The rank insignia for the fleece is worn in the same manner as the rank insignia on the NWU parka. Rating specialty and staff corps insignias are not authorized to be worn on the fleece. The parka is equipped with a fold-out hood located inside the Velcro closure section of the collar. The hood is designed to provide additional protection during inclement weather conditions. During the winter or inclement periods, the parka hood is authorized for wear in addition to headgear. Black leather gloves are also authorized only with the NWU Type 1 parka. If not in use, the parka hood will remain stowed and is not to be worn hanging out. Effective October 2013, a silver name tape will be required for E1 to E6 and a gold name tape for officers and chiefs. The name tape will be sewn centered and flush on the left sleeve pocket flap a quarter inch above the bottom of the flap. NWU Type 1 Foul Weather Trouser Personal purchase of the NWU pattern foul weather Gore-Tex trouser is authorized and is available for individual purchase. The NWU foul weather trousers are worn over the NWU trouser and with the NWU parka and shirt. When worn, zippers shall be zipped and Velcro snaps fasteners closed. Personally obtained NWU foul weather trousers are authorized for wear when commuting from home to work during inclement weather conditions. Personally owned NWU foul weather trousers are not authorized for wear to perform assigned duties. A name tape matching NWU pattern and fabric, cloth or Gore-Tex, will be sewn on the right leg cargo pocket flap to indicate ownership. Name tape will reflect the wearer's last name and sewn centered one-fourth of an inch above the bottom of the flap. Ball caps are not authorized for wear with the NWU Type 1 unless directed by the commanding officer of a float unit's while underway or for wear by command training teams during exercises or drills. Backpacks may be worn over either the left shoulder or both shoulders in the NWU. Authorized colors include black, navy blue, and when available, the matching NWU pattern. No personal ornamentation such as logos, water bottles, or keychains are authorized on the backpack. At the commanding officer's discretion, Agulets are authorized for wear with the NWU by personnel assigned to billets in which agulets are a prescribed uniform. When worn on the NWU shirt, agulets will be attached to the left shoulder a quarter inch above the seam at the top of the left sleeve and centered over the shoulder seam. When worn on the parka, agulets will be attached three and a half inches above the top of the left sleeve pocket centered on the left shoulder. Agulets are not authorized for wear with the black fleece liner. During times of environmental extremes, regional commanders and commanding officers may authorize the NWU shirt to be removed on job sites or in workspaces.
The same applies for unblousing the NWU trouser. Care for the Navy Working Uniform Type 1. In order to maximize service life and maintain optimum performance, follow the wash and care instructions indicated on each NWU uniform article. Wash NWUs inside out to minimize abrasion to the outside fabric surfaces during washing and drying. Sailors will not starch the NWU Type 1 under any circumstance. The use of starch, sizing, and any process that involves dry cleaning or steam press will adversely affect the treatments and durability of the uniform and is not authorized. Light ironing is authorized if needed. Creating creases in the NWU Type 1 is not authorized. Do not commercially hot press. The Navy Working Uniform Type 1 is authorized for normal commuting and all normal tasks and associated stops. Since the NWU is not considered an authorized liberty uniform, consumption of alcohol in this uniform while off base is not permitted. The NWU is authorized for wearing CONUS on commuter transportation such as metro buses, metro rails, commuter buses, ferries, and military aircraft. The NWU is not authorized for wear on commercial airlines, railways, or buses. Thank you.